everyone, it's Iron, and welcome back to some Sky Factory 2. Now, it's been quite a few days since I've put up an episode, and that's for a couple of, re quite a few reasons, like three reasons to be more specific. One, my brother just got back from Pittsburgh. He was over there, oh, got a bunch of junk all of a sudden. He was over there getting a master's degree. And so, yeah, and he just got back not too long ago, so I've been a little busy. Oop. Just saw my surprise for this episode. Oopsie. But he's been over there for a good little bit. And also, the second greatest reason was because I was having extreme problems with the nether. And I seriously do mean extreme. Um, well, first of all, the nether is taking forever to load, for some reason. But... There it goes. It's slowly going. Maybe. 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 But anyways, in between here, I'll sh put up some pictures of what was essentially happening. What was happening is, um... The most recent version of Sky Factory 2 is 2.4. I was playing on... Oh, there it is. 2.3. You see? Ooh. Oh, no! And what was essentially happening is right in this area and all the way over to here, there were over 6,000... Um, oh, I need to be using this. There were over 6,000 wither skeletons spawning, which was lagging the heck out of my game. You see? So, it, it was extremely bad. I was getting like a quarter of a frame per second. That's how bad it was. I simply could not play like that. It was honestly ridiculous. So, I've been trying to figure out a way to get it to essentially work properly. And uh, I found somewhat of a solution, that solution being going and putting down some, uh, don't be killed, some chunk loaders, you know? I went over to my portal and put like a chunk loader like right here. And that was loading quite a few chunks. You need to die. So that was loading, I, I think I had it set to 5, so that was loading like 25 chunks. So for the most part it was okay. Until I went about right here-ish. And then all of this area would suddenly f be filled up with weather skeletons as well. And the game would go back to lagging like crazy again. So, essentially, no matter where I went, I'd have over 6,000 wither skeletons spawned. And I did have, like, a quarter of a frame per second. Which is unplayable. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. Fire bat over there. And, um... So, I tried doing everything I could except for updating the version of Sky Factory because that honestly something I didn't really want to do. But I did not want to put a whole bunch of... Um, I, essentially, I didn't want a bunch of chunks in the nether being constantly loaded because that, too, would have lagged out my game like crazy. My computer is, it isn't exactly the beefiest computer. It can't handle 
too much, you know? So, essentially what I was forced to do is I was essentially forced to updating Sky Factory to 2.4 from 2.3. And I was really hesitant to do that because I knew I would lose a bunch of stuff. And I was hoping it was simple stuff that I could easily get, you know, like some MFR stuff or some, um, I don't know, Tinker stuff. I, I wouldn't have cared if I lost those, you know? That stuff, I don't really care about. You know, so... But the problem is, as you can see from right here, I lost my magical crop stuff, so I was not happy about that at all. That really sucked, because for those of you that don't know magical crops, it's a pretty grindy process. So that really sucked. So, yeah. And the third and probably lamest reason of them all is I just wasn't really feeling up to it, you know? But, like I said, that's the lamest reason of them all. But yeah. But in between episodes, I did do a bit of work. I did a little bit with my Emmy system, got it, and I also got an auto mob farmer going. Now, this one's a bit different. You see, this is a tesser. Oop, I forgot to reactivate the tesseract over here. Oopsie. There we go, it's reactivated. Now, this one's powered using a Tesseract, mostly because I didn't want to run a whole bunch of power cables all the way over here. And this one's using an Mine Factory Reloaded Grinder, which gives me Essence instead of Liquid XP, which kind of sucks, but I'm okay with, because I, I know how to turn that stuff into Liquid XP. It's pretty simple. I just need to come on here, get my straw... And say, get a bucket. Cube back in here. Oh, this poison is And just come over here and, oops, look at the block. And just suck it up. It gives me pretty close to one level. And it'll just continually do that. Uh, which is a little annoying, but oh well. And so I have stuff automatically going into it. Now with the loot bags, what will happen is I have this autonomous activator, and it sends all the loot bags into here, which shifts right-clicks on this ender chest, which puts them into there. So all the loot bags that... Thomcraft. I don't like Thomcraft. So all the loot bags go straight into there. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, um... Now, there's really two things I have planned for this episode. One, you can see it over there. But before I get... Go there... I need to do something else. Now, if you... Now, if you look in my golden bag of holding... You'll see I have some stuff in here, specifically for the deep dark. Pretty much I have this ender chest, some ender markers, ender quarry, and a tesseract. This is all for what I hope is still has some achievements. It travels a deep dark and something else. Blah, 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 blah. But, oh, and this stuff... Since I lost all my uh, magical crap stuff, it's going to take much longer. Because I was actually almost there. I almost had the diamond seed. And then I lost it all, which really sucks. But anyways. But, um... Anyways, today we're going to travel to the deep dark. But first, I need to do some stuff. I need more power. I need more power... To power all my stuff. 
Now, I was going to do this eventually anyways, but when preparing for this episode, I realized I really needed to do this because my ME system ran out of the power, so I had to go disconnecting stuff, and I not a hundred percent sure whether it was actually the power consumption in itself or something else, but I was running out of power, which isn't good, you know. So I have to do something about that. So I decided to, and now I've been passively working on this. When I get the stuff, I make it, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to be making a big reactor today. You sure? So let me get... I've already made everything I need for it, essentially. Well, almost everything. Um, let me see if there's a reservoir in here. I don't know how to spell reservoir. Don't tell anyone. Are you serious? There's RF tools in here. That is like the one mod I wouldn't have thought to have been in here. Oh well. Okay. Ah! Here we go, reservoir. Do I have everything I need for it? Dang it, I don't have everything I need. Okay. Quartz. Um... Let me think real quick. Fused quartz. Okay. Now I need four of the fused quartz, so... Quartz... One, two, three, four. I really wish there was a better way of doing this. And let's make two cauldrons. Iron. One. One. Two. Now you may have seen I've added a few things. That was all to uh, make the tesseract essentially. Make it go quicker, you know? Oh. Poo. Oh well. Ender... I hope. There we go. Now where'd it go? There it is. One, two, dogs barking. Now essentially what this does is, as you can read from this, two buckets of water in a... put these in a two-by-two-by-one two by pattern, add two buckets of water, and it creates an infinite water source, which I need for... This right here, the cyanite reprocessor. So, it's a decently important block. I'll put you right here. Now, this is going to be a 5x5x5 five by five by five, um, thing. Shay, break that. I love how easily those breaks. Those break, not breaks. So it's going to take quite a bit of stuff and quite a bit of placing, not a grand amount of placing. And you see, I've already almost run out. So essentially what I need is I need a lot of these reactor casings. I have essentially everything else I need except for the proper amount of reactor casings. And I didn't really feel like going through and calculating how much I needed. But I knew I needed a lot. That's pretty much all I knew. So... What was I thinking? Oh yeah, that's my train of thought. So, uh, pretty much it's very easy to make all this stuff. It just essentially takes quite a few resources. So, those resources I do have except for the Eulorium, that is. It's just really a matter of going, making it, and getting the resources. And putting it all together. It's super easy to do all this stuff. 
Hold on one second. Yeah, right there is where I'm going to make the power tap so it can go straight out. Well, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put the cyanite reprocessor yet. But let me see something real quick, which is actually going to be very helpful for everything. Awesome, I have enough diamonds. Pretty much what I want to make is a builder's wand. Now, I needed an unstable ingot for that, which is why I needed to activate the vision sigils. But I'm not going to make the unstable ingot. I'm going to make the unstable, the stable unstable ingot. So I need... Oh, no, I ran out of gold. That's no good. No goat ingots. I mean, nuggets, that is. I don't remember how many I made. I'm just going to make seven and hope I had enough. I made too many. Oh well. <sighs> and there we go. So now I have a builder's wand, which will make building stuff quite a bit easier. Because now instead of going one at a time, I'm placing multiples at a time. Which is really quite nice, if I do say so for myself. Except for, oh, dang it. But sometimes this happens. You accidentally misclick. You end up having to come through here and take everything down. And I made too many of these casings. That was a waste of cyanide. Night, 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 night. night. Well, you know what I can do, actually? Let me see something here. I forget the recipes exactly. What do these take? I guess I'll make one more. Just one more. Don't be going crazy and thinking I'm going to do a ton. Now, you may also notice... I have made a sword and a hammer. Now, the sword is for killing the wither, actually. Whenever I go to kill the wither, that is. It's because the sword, it's easier to get it to a um, higher attack. I can get more attack out of a sword than I can... Oh, wait. I need eight. It's easier to get more attack damage as of a sword than it is a hatchet, of course, because the sword, right off the bat, starts out with more attack damage. I'm going to drink some water real quick. It's hot where I live, so I need to drink water. Lots and lots of water. And here. So I need... Eight, so one, two, three, four, that's one, one, two, three, four, that's four, that's eight, there we go. Put everything in the magma crucible. Let's let it go for a little bit while I... Oi, my game's lagging like crazy for some reason. What the heck? Oh my goodness, what's with the low FPS? This should not be happening. Oh my goodness. You know, I bet it's because I went to the nether. For some reason, I've been having real low FPS lately. Here, super quickly, I'm going to uh, cut the recording... And restart my Minecraft so my FPS goes back up. So 
I'll see you in just a sec. Welcome back, everyone. Or are these ready yet? Nope. Now, I decided, hey, why not go ahead and uh, fill up the tank? Actually, you know what I can do? Off camera. So I started doing that. And it was going all right. Until I was putting the reactor casings back on. And I accidentally put one too low. Destroying a bucket. So now, I had to look for enderpearls. Which, luckily, somehow, my, uh, Tinker's Construct, um, forge thing keeps filling with them. Just keeps on getting all that liquid enderpearl stuff. Which is awesome, so now that is less enderpearls I had to, uh, melt down, but I still need more enderpearls because, um, I need to make more energy conduits. I kind of put that thing too far back. Um, do I have any in here? Yes, I have one in here. Awesome. So now, and I just deleted that even though I didn't need to. Oh well. So, no. But I do need three of these. So there. So, pretty much this has to reach across. It's not going to connect just yet because it's not a proper... Um, reactor just yet. Reach across into there. And then what I think I'm going to do is I can put this up here. Is right here and here. I'm going to put one there, one there. Cyanite repressor right here I guess. And um Essentially what's going to happen is this one's going to be an outlet, that one's going to be an import. So now I need some item conduits, item conduits. Those go there. I need to come over here, make that like that so it can go in. Come here, change it to insert make that always active. Oop. A little tip when uh, dealing with these um, energy conduits, many people just click through until they get to that. Right click and it'll go back to it. Super easy. I always see people coming through and left clicking all the way through and I'm like, you don't need to do all that. You can simply come through and right click it. Let's put down, let's put these down. Now that will, uh, put a, that will keep the thing running for a good little bit. So let's see here. Let me get Yellorium. <laughs> My measly four Yellorium. Yep. I need a uh, fluid conduit. There we go. Actually, let's use that one. I made some, like, I made the highest tier fluid conduits. I don't know why, I just wanted to make them, really. And I made some other stuff. It seems mob jobs get you inscriber plates and some patterns. Which is cool and all, but I'm like, I don't really care about those. I can craft all this 
stuff. A Thumbnomicon. Something I didn't want because I don't really like Thumbcraft. Well, this Thumbcraft in here might not be too bad. It's really taint I don't like in Thumbcraft, to be honest. But yeah, 2.4 of Sky Factory added a whole bunch of um, magic mods. Now, I like magic mods. Some magic mods, like, they can be pretty grindy. Actually, almost all of them are pretty grindy. But honestly, they're pretty cool once you get them going. Now, I need this to go right there. Now, you need to be an extract always. You need to be... Yes, insert. Always. Now, oh, dang it, that's not going to work. You know what I can do? Do it like this. I was really hoping that would work, but it didn't. Come over here. Extract always. Over here and insert. And that should work. There we go, it's a working. Awesome, awesome, awesome possum. Now what I can do is I can come up here and complete the thing. Oh, I need to move. That's going to teleport me all over the place. Over here, place that. See? Teleport you all over the place. This liquid and ender stuff is really annoying. So now we have a reactor, which is awesome. So now all I need to do is activate it even though it has nothing. <laughs> Throw all the little bit of Yolorian I have into there. 25% full, but oh well. And now, making this episode nice and long, I'm <laughs> now that I'm producing not very much RF per tick, but it's something. It doesn't, it's not at full power, so it's not going to, um, go like crazy, you know? I actually probably don't need that or that either. So, now we can close. So now, just to get it started, I'm going to go to the deep dark. Now, whoop. Now, what I'm going to be doing in the deep dark, essentially, is I'm going to be setting up a, um, ender quarry, quarry. That's what it's called, you see? The deep dark, it, pretty much all it's useful for is um, setting up an indie core. So I'm just going to go straight this way. This is why I made a hammer. Oh, I should have brought torches. Forgot to bring torches. <laughs> yeah, for those of you do that don't know anything about the deep dark, if you don't bring torches, you pretty much don't survive. So... Torche. Torche. I, I'll just bring all of them. And I'll make some more. There we go. A little over three stacks should be enough. Whoop. There we go. There we go. And I'll just set up my ender. Um, is it F9 that shows the things? How do... Whoop. 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 Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Accidentally pushed F11 when I shouldn't have. What's the button? Dang. There's no button to show the stinking what's my jiggies. Forget which. See. This is what you need to be wary of. If I go into here for too long. I'll eventually, if it's too dark, essentially, I'll start taking damage. 
Now, it's not happening now for some reason. I don't know why. But it will eventually. So what I'm going to do off camera, I should have made definitely, is um, I'm going to go ahead and make the quarry. You see? <laughs> Went into the deep dark. And then the next episode, I'll show you everything, okay? But for now, that is going to be the episode. Let's go in here, travel to the deep dark. Woohoo! We did it! Yep. You know, I could actually technically cross that one off because, um... I used an angel block to make that, and that can be considered a second island of some sorts. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and show me by leaving a like. I'm sorry that this took so long to come out, but yeah. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I attempt to get videos out on a regular basis. Sometimes doesn't always work how I want. Kind of like with this video, it took a very long time to come out. Or the last video, which was a pain in the butt to edit. The editing software kept crashing, meaning I'd lose everything. So I essentially had to constantly remind myself to constantly save the project. And I'm honestly not used to saving anything anymore. Because I use my main uh, document writer is Google Docs, you know? So, and that auto saves with everything you do. So, I, I pretty much had to constantly remind myself save the thing so you don't lose all the stuff you just did. So, that episode was pain. But, anyways, once again. I hope you enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!